Ladies and gentlemen, the processional flag song will be performed by Manny Teller. Today's procession is led by the Veterans of Nomination, and I wind in many. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the investiture of Christopher Caldwell. My name is Jasmine Niamh. I have graduated with an associate degree from the College of Nomination. I'm now working on my bachelor's in public administration. I will graduate in 2022. My education at CMN set me on the right course academically and personally. I am grateful for my tribal college experience and all the people here who helped me and can continue to help me along the way. It is my honor to be your master of ceremonies. The college has invited Mr. Dennis Cano of the Nominee Indian tribe to come forward and speak words on our behalf. 
Mr. Knut served in the United States Navy with duty in Vietnam. His community work includes the Menominee Language and Culture Commission and veterans of the Menominee Nation. The College of Menominee Nation is proud to count him as a friend. It is the Menominee tradition to remain seated while a designated speaker stands to offer a prayer to the creator. So please find your seats. Mr. Knut. Waiski, Mauni, we are case Nina or kick. In Menominee, I said good afternoon, everyone. I want to welcome everyone here to the investiture of Chris Caldwell as the president of the Menom College of Menominee Nation. I was given tobacco to speak to the creator. And this is what, uh, this is what we do when we speak to the creator. We always have the tobacco with us. Always an honor and a privilege to be able to do this. I want to thank the committee for allowing me to speak here today. But before I do that, I want to say on behalf, on behalf of the veterans of the nomination, in the Kashina American Legion Toast 497. We would like to congratulate Chris Caldwell on your investiture as president of the College of the Menominee Nation. And we wish him well on his future journey. So with that, I am now going to speak to the creator for all of us here. Also, Mauni, we are Kitana Mark and Kitana Mayor. Cool. Matno School, Pia, Mauni, we are Yossi Home. Kakino Amoiko, O Matno Mene, Mamanoa, Mashik, O Tassika, Yos Kaysi, Nawaki. Dennis Kano. Mokamani which one? A page for Mokna or Matt Mamane, any which one? Nikawa no Matt Mamane, catch key, ship, say Markamus. Got the man with Skiki Tim and Ami Hartwin, the ship does the course of Moa on that mountain. Mauni, we have catch the tongue. Now, Mama Kohono, Yoga Awix, Aeon Nakama, but in Asamon and Kimasa Mass, Manoxku, Kanawa, Tua, Kundia, Eskutu, and Espamianus. O Chica Sianaka, Skamoka, Anaka, Sound of Anaka, Skanik Anaka. Paso Tapana, Salmi, no Tamil, Moen, and Moen, and Kata Kaya, Skase Pitaya Momas. Now, in the day, Mama Kohono, the Mame to Tan, so patch no to wear, he took for Chimano, so patch can up a male, a ship near the mail. Mama Kum, the Sakasim, the ship to Mama Kum, catch Kiwak, the ship to Mama Kum, the Chiana, the ship to Mama Kum, Simaka Naso. Now, how can it be? Mama Kohono never made the tent so patch no to wear me to go chimana. The ship Pimana Okima Chris Caldwell Oman Mane Kakino and Motiwiko. Well, when I can turn on my only car, chronic case, mini kia, so patch for Mata Sea, my ship was coso. Kakino Hamoya, so man of a tote to a cool Maoni wear, my ship to a top and out, keep up a chin at all. Now, how my mother come and out, may see a Maoni wear, so cool, or Thomas Gun. Well, I can tell you, I can tell you, I'm 
Thank you, Mr. Cano, for those beautiful words. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as the veterans of the Menominee Nation Color Guard post their colors. To our veterans, we thank you for your service. We begin today's program with a welcome from Mr. Gary Frechette, Chairman of the College of Menominee Nations Board of Trustees. Mr. Frechette is a programmer analyst at WEC Business Services and has been a member of the board since 2016 and was elected chairman in 2020. Please welcome Trustee Chairman Gary Frechette. Let me also uh, say thank you to the veterans of Nami Nation Color Guard for your years of military service to the nation and to Jasmine for persisting in her education so that she too can be of service as nation builders. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the faculty, alumni, students, employees of the college, friends, each of those seated here on the dais has a role to play in an investiture. Before we begin, I would like to briefly introduce them. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. I would like my colleagues on the college's board of trustees to stand as a group. They will be introduced individually later this afternoon, but we are the Menominee who provide oversight for the college and who chose our new president. This is the CMN Board of Trustees. Thank you. There are three individuals who represent important stakeholders to the college. When I call your name, please stand to be recognized. They are Mr. Gunnar Peters, Chairman of the Menominee Tribal Legislature. Gunnar, please stand. Dr. Candy Waka Villa Gomez representing the college's faculty. Ms. Jasmine Niosh, representing the college's alumni and student body. And lastly, we have two who serve on the president's cabinet. Please stand. They are Chief Financial Officer, Mr. George Atradovic and Mrs. Geraldine Sanapa, Chief Academic Officer. And so, with you as our witnesses, we invest in Christopher Caldwell, the authority and responsibility as its president. To set the stage for our ceremony and President Caldwell's future work, the Board of Trustees has asked a distinguished leader in the tribal college movement to deliver the keynote address today. Cheryl Crazy Bull, Lakota, is president and CEO of the American Indian College Fund serving since 2012. Cheryl is a frequent public speaker, presenter, and writer about indigenous education and issues with a focus on indigenous higher education, equity, and place-based education. She has served as a faculty member and administrator at the Sinti Gleska University and as the chief educational officer at St. Francis Indian School on her home reservation, Rosebud. Prior to the college fund, Cheryl served as president of Northwest Indian College for 10 years. Please direct your attention to the screen. I'm Petewash Demidakuyapi. Wachiapiwi, 
Imachia pe lena shichanga lakota imataha. Lena etancha, American Indian College Fund. Chante washte na pe chayuzapi. Good day, relatives. I am Cheryl Crazybull, President and CEO of the American Indian College Fund. My Lakota name, Wachiampiwi, means they depend on her. I am a citizen of the Shichango Lakota Oyate, also known as the Rosebud Sioux Tribe. I greet you with a good heart and a handshake. Wopila, thank you to the Menominee people and particularly to the wonderful team at the College of the Menominee Nation for inviting me to help honor your college president, Chris Caldwell. Today, the Menominee Nation is hosting one of the most important modern day events that can occur at a tribal college. You are formally bestowing an official designation on Chris Caldwell as the president of your tribal college. I want to take this time to directly address President Caldwell and the Menominee people about what it means to have a tribal college. In 1981, I began my career in tribally controlled education when I was hired as a faculty member at what was then Sinti Glaska College on my home reservation. I worked there for 17 years before going on to serve as the CEO of our tribal school and then as president of Northwest Indian College. I started my life's work at a time when many of the founders of the tribal college movement were still living and were still able to guide me. Now, after 40 years, I have become one of the elders of the tribal college movement. And it is from that perspective that I want to bear witness to the work that we must continue to do as tribal college educators. Many of you who are listening may not even have been born when I began my career. You may not have been born when the College of the Menominee Nation was chartered in 1993. So I am sharing this for you. Many of you may have been here when Verna Fowler and other leaders and community members of the Menominee Nation had the vision of creating a tribal college to serve the priorities and needs of the Menominee people and their neighbors. I am also sharing both her vision and the circumstances of that time with you. The first tribal colleges emerged in the tumultuous times of the late 1960s and the early 70s. It was a time when our people were fighting for recognition and fighting for our rights as citizens of tribal nations. It was a time when people were rising up, demanding fair treatment and access to resources nationwide. Across Indian country, tribal people said education belongs to us, and it was our inherent right to educate and socialize our own people in our ways of knowing, using our cultural knowledge. Tribes recognized that the constitutions that had in many cases been forced on them, granted them unique authorities, including the power and the right to establish their own educational institutions. You know, tribally chartered colleges and universities emerged from both the recognition of our inherent right to education and our authority to establish chartered institutions. Our ancestors and many people who are still here today, they were and are revolutionaries. They shook up the definition of higher education and through their vision, they brought new hope to our tribal people. So I just wanted to briefly remind you about how unique tribal colleges and the College of the Menominee Nation are. There are over 3,000 colleges and universities in the United States. And yet there are only 35 accredited tribal colleges who are members of the American Indian Higher Education Consortium. And only 29 of those institutions are tribally chartered. The way that the College of the Menominee Re Nation reclaims its people's identity while also teaching students how to walk in the Western world is extraordinary. This remarkable institution deserves all of the love and support that you can give to it. Give it to its mission of being a center of lifelong learning that enhances nation building. President Caldwell, I particularly want to encourage you to keep your mind and your heart focused on the vision of those revolutionaries, the ones who brought our institutions into being. They envision institutions that support our tribal nations as they build towards social justice, equity, and prosperity. They envision the College of the Menominee Nation, 
not the College of Menominee County or Kashina College, but a college that belongs to the Menominee people. You may invite your neighbors in. You may include other tribal nations, but you must always live up to the mission and the vision of building the Menominee Nation. We as tribal college educators are all called upon to honor and protect that vision of tribal self-determination and autonomy. Our responsibility is to invest our resources, our time, and our people in the work of restoration of our ways of knowing. President Caldwell, leading a tribal college can be one of the most rewarding experiences of your life. It is not easy. You will face many challenges, but the reward of helping our people get an education to improve their own lives and the lives of their families will help you put those challenges aside so that you can do the work you are called to do. Many people stand with you today, President Caldwell. We are proud of you and we pray for you. We pray for your health and for your happiness and for you to have a good heart and a strong mind. Palamayapi, thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Crazy Bull. The College of Menominee Nation came into being through the action of the Menominee Tribal Legislature and is chartered by the Menominee people. Many students have studied at CMN and gone on to earn academic degrees and provide leadership in their communities. Among them is Mr. Gunnar Peters. He studied at College of Menominee Nation and is now leading our tribal government. His work has been in governance, having served the MTE board and leadership in the chairman's office for the tribe, where he now serves as the tribal chairman. Chairman Peters. Good afternoon, everyone. And good afternoon to you, President Caldwell. The board of directors saw you as a natural leader when they asked you to be interim president college president of the College of Menominee Nation back in February of 2020. Your leadership skills were put to the test leading the college through a global pandemic. Since your appointment as president began in July, you've created your internal administrative structure and are creating relationships to make connections that can help CMN grow. You have held various roles here at the college from student to director and now chief executive. As a community member, you have also been strengthening relationships with community engagement, both on and off the reservation. One-on-one, -on -one, sitting on boards and at cultural events. I have witnessed your commitment to the growth of the college when you challenged the golfers to the first president's chip-in game at the annual benefit golf outing. You showed cam camaraderie, raising money for student success and developing relationships with the community. To my understanding, your game was a hit. <laughs> and look forward to next year's event. The college has entrusted you as a prime asset to the Maumee tribe. We want to see that, you, that asset remain true to its mission and continue to be strong, grow under your leadership. A college is a place of learning. A tribal college is a place where native wisdom is valued and shared alongside mainstream Western knowledge that is important to us. A college is also an economic engine for its community. It brings in external resources. It prepares some students to be entrepreneurs and generates new resources here in the community. And it helps other students become good managers of tribal resources and leaders who make good public policy. Our college gives us teachers, counselors, technical workers, and other talents needed in the complex world where we live in today. All are important to us, to the future welfare of sovereign nations and to our neighboring communities. This work is entrusted to you, President Caldwell. Speak with us often, share your ideas openly, and know that the Menominee Tribe is invested in your success and wishes you well. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Peters, and good afternoon, President Caldwell. Students represent the heart of a college. Alumni represent its soul. Together, students and alumni have a special interest in the quality of institutional leadership. I've been asked by the college to speak on behalf of the student body as an alumna and a current student of CMN. It is an incredible honor for me to participate in this event today. If you'll permit me, I'm gonna take a moment to get just a little bit sentimental. 
You see, it's no exaggeration at all to say that attending college in Menominee Nation has changed my life and the lives of many of my peers. President Caldwell, in his time as director of the Sustainable Development Institute, was, of course, a large part of that. I'll never forget the first time I was called to attend a conference focused on indigenous people in climate science, attended by many people I respected and whose names I knew well. Not only would I have to share space with these amazing people, but Chris volunteered me for a panel to uh, talk about my work as an intern as well. So it's been a couple of years and I can admit now that I was terrified. Um, I didn't think that that was something that I could handle. I didn't think I was ready for that, but the boss thought it was something I could handle. So I decided to just trust his judgment. I went up there, said my piece, answered questions. I probably drank a gallon or so out of water just out of sheer anxiety. At one point when my mic was off, and this is a true story, I turned to the person who was sitting next to me and thought out loud about just making a break for it. There's a person in this room who can vouch for that story. But I did it. And when it was over, I got off stage just trembling with fear. And who was waiting at the foot of the steps? President Caldwell, with a big grin on his face, ready to give me a fist bump. He said, good job. And that was the start of a great many wonderful collaborations and opportunities without which my life would be very different. I've traveled the country, met so many friends and heroes and mentors, all of whom I can't imagine my world without now. But more importantly, it imparted a lasting lesson. Every time I get an opportunity that scares me, I think about that panel and I jump right in. One guy who I didn't know super well, but who believed in me as he believes in all CMN students, set into motion an incredible chain of events. I am beyond excited to see what's going to come from all of CMN benefiting from that vision. And so as we begin this very exciting new chapter in CMN history, I would humbly request that we keep that spirit alive through whatever comes next. For the faculty, administrators, and staff, never take for granted the impact that you can have by putting your faith in the students who come through those doors every semester. For the students, when you find a mentor who gets it, who sees more in you than you might see in yourself, don't be afraid to trust their judgment. And for my former supervisor, my mentor, teacher, leader, collaborator, and friend, President Caldwell, just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. We have heard from those who represent the college's most important stakeholders, the tribe, CM, CMN alumni, and its students. Mr. Gary Frechette, Chairman, and Ms. Sarah LaBarge, Vice Chairwoman, will now conduct the investiture ceremony, after which President Caldwell will present his address. Chairman Peters and Jasmine, thank you for your words about the college and for sharing your hopes for what lies ahead. Before I continue, I would like to introduce the Board of Trustees and ask that each of them stand as his or her name is called. Mr. Gary Frechette, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Ms. Shannon Chapman, Director of Education for the Menominee Indian Tribe. Mr. Michael Delabru of the Menominee Tribal Clinic IT Department. Mr. Jesse Waka, CPA, <clears throat> CPA with GE Healthcare. Mrs. Crystal Chapman Chevalier, Director of Community Development for the Menominee Indian Tribe. And Mr. Marcus Denny, teacher at Kashina Primary School. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure to be working with you on behalf of our college. The arrival of new leadership is an important moment in the life of any college or university. And among higher education institutions, investitures are a way of marking those traditions. For us, this moment is not just important, but it is also unique. 28 years ago, CMN was established and chartered by the Menominee people. An investiture event is one way we carry out newly established traditions of the institution. We take this opportunity to share these traditions with our community. With a fully established college, we are making time to honor our new leadership 
and fully invest in the future of the institution and President Caldwell. His task is to honor the past, be in the present and build for the future. Our purpose today is to set him on that path with our encouragement and our blessing. Members of the board, would you please stand in place for this portion of our program? Mr. Caldwell, the board takes its responsibility for the college very seriously. Much effort was put in by your staff and the board members in the search of our next president. We saw the talents and traits you brought to the office of president when you willingly served as interim president. You bring to the college your love and knowledge of the Menominee people, your people, the visionary strategic way you have already moved the institution forward. The presidential medallion is a symbol of authority of the president of the College of Menominee Nation. It is to be worn at commencements and other ceremonial occasions. To formally invest you with the authority and the responsibility of the presidency, the Board of Trustees asks that you confirm that we, you will uphold the mission of the College of Menominee Nation and serve to the best of its interest, its students in all the ways to the best of your ability. With the agreement of my fellow trustees and our wishes that you enjoy a long and successful tenure, the College of Menominee Nation presents you with this symbol of office and invites you to address our gathering today. Also, Kesani Nawako, Nacho Matnamanewa, Natana Lamakana, Mashik Maoni Weak. Good afternoon, my fellow Menominee, all my relations, and everybody that's gathered today. Chris Caldwell Nawiswan, Natota Mawasa Away, No Nat Eugene Caldwell Away, Mashik Nakia Linda Caldwell Laskinet. Katna, Namat Mosum, Get Kamok Mamachitao Wieswan, Tony Caldwell Wieswan, Natan Brook Caldwell, Mishik Trinity Caldwell. I've introduced myself and my family through our Menominee language because that's important. Back in March of this year, I went through the process of applying for this position after having served as the interim for oh, almost a year. At that time, I had already, already uh, <clears throat> developed a fairly good sense of the potential of both the college and just as importantly myself to be in this role of leadership. I described at that time how my, my experiences in the management and protection of our forest was a natural transition into educational leadership at the tribal college. What I did not mention at that time are the indigenous educational leadership examples that I have been privileged with throughout my lifetime. Many of those experiences are with my family, through my family, uh, through that lifetime of knowing the people that have showed me those examples. My grandmother, Letitia Caldwell, served on the Shauna School Board at a time when it was difficult for women to be in leadership positions, let alone Native women. My uncle, Alan Caldwell, served our tribal communities through his work with Act 31, through his service to the, the tribal school in the open and the Indian Community School in Milwaukee. My uncle Sim Askinet, with his stories about his time on Penn State campus, 
where I would often wonder if I was walking the same ground that he did when I started working down there on different projects. Both of my parents are alum, alumni of the College of Menominee Nation. They demonstrated through their actions the importance of education while working and supporting their family. My cousin Shannon Chapman, who currently sits on the board, has served as Menominee Tribal Education Director for many years and in leadership with the Wisconsin Indian Education Association. My cousin Drew Lacefield, Kat Nup, and her dedication to our community as someone who grew up in Milwaukee, but maintained her connections and link to the culture in our community. And as she served the CMN Board of Trustees faithful, faithfully, and now most importantly, the inspiration that comes from a shared educational journey with my wife, Tony, as we pursue our doctoral degrees, my daughters as they pursue their undergraduate degrees. Thinking of this wealth of inspiration from my family, I, I look to the people that I've worked with, the indigenous scholars, the students, the graduate students over the years. This includes a number of people, uh, colleagues, mentors, friends like Dr. Holly Youngbear Tibbetts, Kana, Dr. Kyle White, Dr. Robin Kimmerer, Jasmine Niyash, Thomas Cano, Sarah Smith, Dr. Marie Schaefer. Dr. Lisa Poupart and, and the UWGB First Nations cohort. Dr. Fowler, Dr. Morris, Dr. Greeno, there's Kat, no. There's so many there that provided this wealth of inspiration and experience over the years, but even as important, even more importantly are the community knowledge holders who have shared their knowledge over the years. Patch Pomona, Dennis Canote, who shared the prayer, opening prayer with us. Mshakwit, Ron Korn Jr., Akachika, Joey Iwanape, Jennifer Gothier, Jeff Greeno, Richard Anamina, Anamita, and many others, too numerous to count in this short time. Through all of these relationships and this inspiration, the main lesson I have learned is that there is no shortage of people in our communities willing to take on the task of leadership. Sometimes we just need help in finding our voice and in developing our ability to do so. And that is the business of the College of Menominee Nation. As an alum of CMN, I can attest to that. I'm so proud and happy to see all of you here today because you represent different parts of the community that, are, that share that inspiration and that support. Because even though this ceremony is meant to instill the responsibility of the college to me, I know that our college is more than one president, more than one student, more than one faculty member. As important as we are to that story as individuals, we are also a part of a collective story a over a thousand years in the making. It is the dream of our ancestors and our leaders for how our generation would function today in a society that they didn't comprehend at the time that we are able to be here. And so in that respect, I think of our college as a point of convergence in time our storylines coming together and the opportunity to work together for those who will come after us, for the faculty, the staff, the students, and the presidents who will follow us. I see my responsibility to the college. I accept it. And I look to prepare for the unknown future we face and to support those who are looking for their voice and to, the, to learn their responsibility to this story as well. I accept my responsibility, but I also challenge our tribal leaders here, the college, faculty, staff, and students 
to consider what their responsibilities are to this story as well and what that means for the Menominee people, the other tribal nations we serve as we go forward and upon whose lands we sit upon every day. And so finally, I would conclude with an open invitation to everybody here, everybody watching, come visit us, enroll at the college, participate in its programs, uh, consider the job opportunities, or just stop by for a chat and see if the words I shared today are the actions that are happening tomorrow. Waiwan and Maoni Wiyuk, thank you all. I thank the veterans of the Menominee Nation. I thank uh, Mr. Kano for the prayer. I thank the CMN Board of Trustees for your confidence in me. And I thank the faculty and staff for your dedication to the college and our tribal leaders who have made the time to be with us today. Mano Pamatasanan Yope, have a good day today. Pamanas Kun, take care of yourselves. And it. Thank you, President Caldwell. Earlier, I said that students are the heart of a college and alumni are the soul. If that is so, then faculty members are truly the intellect of the academic body. Our program cannot be complete without a response from those who teach, research, write, and perpetuate knowledge in all of its forms. One who does all of these things is Dr. Lauren Waka Villa Gomez, professor of teacher education. She speaks today on behalf of her colleagues in her role as a member of the CMN faculty. Dr. King. Oh, so I'm a little nervous because I ended up being last. I thought I would be first up here. <laughs> I'm honored and I'm humbled to represent the faculty at today's observance. We are here today to celebrate the investiture of our new president, Christopher Caldwell, who symbolizes the next generation and a new era for the College of Menominee Nation during difficult times. As a young person, Christopher Caldwell embodies the very essence of the worldview of Menominee people and culture. We, the faculty, look forward to working with the new president as he brings new ideas, a respect and appreciation of indigenous culture and a belief in the importance of sustainability. The faculty is committed to the College of Menominee Nation vision, mission, and values the new president is entrusted to implement. We support and believe in the vision of lifelong learning, integrating academic preparation and research to enhance nation building in our teaching. Furthermore, we support and believe in the College of Menominee Nation mission as a land-grant institution of higher education that infuses the learning with American Indian culture and prepares students for leadership careers and advanced studies in a multicultural world. We are committed to the research and promotion perpetuation and nurturance of American Indian language and scholarship in our teaching. Finally, we support and believe in the College of Menominee Nation values of creating a traditional caring community in our classrooms, promoting mutual trust, respect and cooperation in our classes recognizing the value of all students, 
empowering our students to serve community needs through lifelong learning. And lastly, modeling and promoting our commitment to the community as faculty. Thank you all for sharing this important day with the college. I would like to remind you that an informal reception takes place here immediately after the program. Ladies and gentlemen, this, uh, the program concludes with a recessional led by the Veterans of Menominee Nation Color Guard and the honor song by Manny Teller. Please stand and remain at your seats until our honored guests and the platform party have exited the ballroom. Thank <laughs> you. 